guys, what is going on? We are at Castle Raceway today. It's a track rental, so we got I Mustang here. I got Trey C10. He's got, uh, you got oil pressure now, hey Trey? Yeah, a lot. All the oil pressure? How much oil pressure do you got, Brian? 130 pounds? You wanna see this? Yeah. You wanna see this? <laughs> Did you drive it here? Yes, I would. <laughs> Have her or would I? Yeah, I got 50 pounds of idling oil. Yeah, mine's like 45 or something. So yeah, I think we're just gonna make some individual passes and try to get our 60 foots figured out. And then uh, and we'll send her down the track here. I think uh, Kyle and I are gonna race today too, so that should be fun. But uh, yeah, we'll probably be racing here in a second. guys so i just made my first pass there and i definitely shook the shale tires it left way too hard so i'm um, still got the data log here it left on nine pounds which was the goal i think it's still too much for my shitty setup so um, you can see here how much i was uh pedaling it because i was scared it uh it was making too much boost so it actually wasn't it only made 25.8 or something like that so i think we're good to go and now uh, we're gonna go run trey's truck here i coasted to like a nine what was it nine 995 or something? 995. Yeah, I let off at the eighth mile and it's still went 995. It's kind of funny. At 103 mile an hour. So, um, yeah, we're going to run Trace truck here and then uh, we're going to mess with the Video. I want to get video of like closer to the bath. That's nuts. Oh, yeah, we'll look in the video later, but 
Yeah, everyone in the game was like, holy fuck, that truck just planted, but you didn't have much boost on it. It must not be out, out far. No, because I turned it down. Oh, okay. Because I, like, I was like, fuck that left hard. I was like, and then the time was kind of like. What was the time? 995 or 993. Oh, it's still. But that guy waved me over and I didn't stop. He oh. just, he didn't, it wasn't like. He just, no. It just was like he, he, was he was telling us to come too. It, the, the turn was right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what I figured. Yeah. I and then I rolled my window way right down and drove really slow. So did I. Like say that same thing. Because I was like. Oh, so I can go. Fuck, that's going to blow right off. Man, it was it like. Fucking, it must have left. felt rank. Because oh, it was rank. It was weird, man. We could see like your, Wait, all your. You got a 143 60 foot yet? 139 well, or 138 one. is my best 60 foot. Yeah. I was like, holy fuck. It, it, it feels felt rank. sweet. Yeah. I was like, and I short shifted you'll, you'll second. I short shifted second because I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> and then I, let, I held it out for third. Yeah. the tire a bit shook the tire on that one but more traction Second gear burnout, that's uh, I don't know. that yeah. wasn't a thing for this. Did it run, it's you guys, why your tranny's fucked? 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you can't, with a turbo 400, if you start your burnout first and you shift first, second, third, yeah. what has to happen is the drum has to come to a complete stop and spin oh, opposite yeah. direction. So when you go from first to second, it drum Waps comes to it. a stop. That's what the sprag does, yeah. like a 34 yeah. element sprag. Yeah. It'll just flip them over and fuck it and then it'll do second gear. I, so, I, I tried the second burnout there. Just started it, like second. it just was like, yeah, like, just, yeah, just get them to fucking sauce it down with water. Yeah. Do you have a line lock or no? Yeah, see, that's a problem. Most most of us don't run a line lock. Yeah. You don't need it ever. Yeah. yeah. But that's the first it, time ever trying the second. Yeah, so just get them to put lots of water down, or like one of you guys just fucking sauce, sauce it, down. it down. Because yeah. it will, it, it'll flip the spray. Yeah, it was well, super yeah. common. Right? It looked yeah. pretty dry yeah. there when I rolled up. Anyway. Yeah, well, they have. I, think I didn't really try, it, but it just kind of. I've always kept in mind like. Right away, if I've been doing it, I just right away. But yeah, I've always heard it's bad. You started just, or you mean you shift? I right shift away. I instantly, like pretty much. You start spinning, I shift. Yeah. Side, I just grab second right away. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean you can do it. Guys yeah. do it. Some yeah. guys get I away with it. That but if you're pedaling second gear and, and then letting off and hooking up in the second. No, gear the, what, it's, it's actually just the one-two gear change. But when it does it in the burnout, it's unloaded, right? It's just like freewheeling. Just hit it hard. So it just goes clank and spins it back. Like Break some shit. Yep. Um, you guys wouldn't have any dash 12 shit, eh? A hose or a hose end or... Biggest shit I could use dash 10 here. That'd be a return sure line. Cool. That'd be a return line size, right? Uh, yeah. I bring in that shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I don't ever either. Hey, what do you need? Like... Well, we ran a couple nine second passes. Uh, 143 and a 146, 60 foot. So we're leaving a lot harder here. Russ is gonna go up for his third pass of the day. He's gonna turn up the boost a bit. We went 162 mile an hour. Let's see what else they can run.
two at 164. It blew the tires off. Just getting greasy or what? I don't think it would hurt if they had sprayed again, but hard to say. You make any more passes? I do. guys so we're back at the shop here um it's actually a few days after after racing there it's actually what day is it today tuesday it's tuesday so um as you see in the video uh you saw brian there he did a burnout there in first gear and it, the reason why i was smashing the rev limiter so much is because he actually rolled the sprag in his transmission so um it's very common to uh blow out the sprag clutch on a second gear shift just because the uh, drum, so I'm informed now, I guess. Uh, Neil told us that when you basically when you shift to second gear, the drum actually has to spin back the other direction, and when it does that, you basically all the little bones or whatever on the sprag flip by the, other, the other way around, and then basically your sprag is a free wheel at that point. So he already has the transmission apart. He had it apart the next day, and uh, it's just going to need a new drum and a new sprag. And uh, you guys probably noticed in the video that track got really 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 bad so everybody was spinning uh there's bare cement showing it was like basically polished cement i'll, I'll put a picture in i took a picture of it um and one of the other guys that we know was racing there and he parked right on it and spun but i'll put that picture in here and uh, you guys can see that but basically how it always goes is you start you know at a base number for boost and then you start trying to raise it up and the track was actually getting worse as you're trying to go faster so it just compounds into a situation of a bunch of spinning basically and i didn't even turn mine up on the lever or anything i was just turning mine up for down track and it was still spinning so we pretty much knew the track was getting bad especially with trey's truck because it was leaving so good like he ended up cutting like a 143 60 foot which is pretty darn good for a truck on leaf springs like factory leaf springs and homemade cal tracks um I mean, before that, he was running like one, one five eights or one sixty, sixty foots before that. So it was pretty cool to see the truck uh, separate or whatever. So that was awesome, and it was working really good. And he ended up running a nine seventy five, I believe one thirty eight or one thirty seven mile an hour. So that was pretty cool. And uh, I still am having some weird issues with my boost control. It's like it's not following the uh, curve like one hundred percent. It's all wavy and stuff. So. On my uh, 869 pass there, it went 162 mile an hour, but the boost was varying from like 19 degrees, or 19 pounds of boost, sorry, all the way up to like 23, 24 pounds. So it's kind of like all over the place. So it's, you can't even really, it's just bad data. Like it doesn't tell you anything. So I think I have a bad ground is what's going on because there's a bunch of weird stuff going on with the, um, readings on some of my sensors and stuff like that so i'm going to change all that stuff around and then next time <laughs> we're not going to have those issues and we can actually turn it up because i was very surprised how fast it went considering you know spinning and pedaling it um on that run because on that run uh i spun super bad and then the boost is all over the place and it still went just about my fastest personal best ever was i believe an 867 at 160 and this went 869 162 so Definitely the turbo that I got on here now, the TNT one, the True North Turbo, turbo is uh, 
is definitely better. It's better than the Turbo High 4 by a long shot. Like, to be able to go match your personal best on like eight or 10 pounds last boost is pretty crazy. Um, considering the 60 foot was a 156, and on my best pass, it was a 138 or something like that, 60 foot. So that's a huge difference. Like, that right there is two tenths on your quarter mile pass. So, I mean, that alone right there would have been an 840 something pass on, you know, average about 20. 22 pounds of boost ish or whatever so i mean that was good i mean that's i'm happy about that so all that's good i mean uh everything went okay besides the track getting really slippery so it's not a big deal it happens it's whatever so um next time we're gonna be more prepared and at least we learned a little bit of stuff about all the vehicles so next time we're gonna be able to go faster so i think that's gonna be it for this one guys I know I started rambling on there and talking about a bunch of stuff, but I kind of just feel like I need to explain it because I, I quit videotaping towards the end there because we were just trying to smash a bunch of runs in as quickly as we could at the very end because uh, it was getting close to when the track rental was closing. So um, I think that's going to do it for this one, guys. You know the deal. Get out in the garage. Quit talking about it. Start being about it because uh, it's almost going to be winter again, and then you're going to be wishing you are out there racing and you weren't. So... Uh, if you guys could like comment subscribe that'd be pretty sweet get those uh subscribers up and uh we'll see you in the next one